Hang on, you guys. I'm just getting things set up here. Hang on, you guys, just uh, bear with me here. Just checking everything, make sure everything's going okay. Uh, let's see here. All right, what is up, everybody? How are you guys all doing? Hope everything is well. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Welcome to the Get Business Credit YouTube channel. I've had a little audio problems with this new mic and audio interface, so I'm going to adjust it. You guys let me know if it's too loud or uh, not clear enough. Just let me know. I have a little bit of a sore throat from all this recording. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. All right, you guys. Hey, Darnell. Hey, Journey. Farms, uh, hey, Eslis, um, 2884, Desmond Monroe, congratulations on your uh, new approval, the $12,000 Divi approval. Um, congratulations on that. Let's just give a few more minutes for more people to join. Okay. You guys have any questions, go ahead and shoot me the questions in the uh, chat box below or on the side, and I'll start answering your questions. But let me know how the audio sounds so I can adjust it for you guys. And um, we'll get started here in a few minutes. A few more minutes, you guys. Um, and we'll get started. We've got some exciting things we're going to be talking about today. I'm going to clarify some uh, information about Synchrony Bank, the Phillips 66, JCPenney's, ConocoPhillips. Uh, card as well as the Lowe's, uh, Sam's Club, Mas Business MasterCard, and the Amazon uh, Net 55 payment terms. And then I'm going to be going over about particular Net 30 vendors. Some of them are Net 15 that are ones that a lot of people aren't really talking about, but how they can be beneficial for your business, even though they don't report. If you have like uh, eCredible, which eCredible, I'll do a review about that at some point. Um, I know there was a video just put out, you know, by you know who, and I'm not saying it's a bad service at all. I just don't want to put a whole lot of information about that because it is limited more to utility payments, things like that. But um, if you have Credit Builder, or uh, Dun & Bradstreet Credit Builder, or you have Experian, um, the paid membership, I believe it's $189 per month. If you have that, you can submit manual um, trade lines. So you guys have to understand uh, about the... My dog's walking around. Jack, go lay down. So you guys have to understand... You know, Crown, Shirtsey, certain these vendors that do report or Crown, whatever, you know, they're not really, you know, that great as far as building business credit for beyond just the th throwaway starter vendors. And every business is different. So that's why I'm covering different products that could be useful through um, these different vendors. And if you're serious about building business credit, and you may have, you know, if you're in the trucking business or uh, towing business, then tire discounters, uh, discount tires may be beneficial for you. And you can get terms with them and you can get it reported. If you have one of the um, self-reporting manual reporting services, don't waste your money on things that you can't um, really use, I guess is the point I'm trying to make. And then if you, um, 
you know, need any type of equipment like car audio, video, home audio, TVs, video, you know, anything like that, drones, then you can go through like Crutchfield. They offer a um, net 30 terms and the starting credit limit, I believe, is 5000 so I just submitted my opportunity to hear back on that one. But the good thing about it is they're very nice, great customer service, and you get a sales rep, and they give you discount pricing. Regardless if you get approved for the net 30 terms or not, they give you payment terms. And I mean, I should give you, I should say, give you discounts. So, you know, something that costs like 500 on Amazon, say a camera, a Canon camera, if you open up a business account with them and say you do get payment terms, then the rep likely can give you like a 10% or 20% discount. Not on all products, but some products, you know, and they're very competitive on that. So um, that's what I would cover is like, you know, give you guys more options and think outside the box and building business credit. Just don't think about just things that report you know, because if you get into that, then you're going to be going after tree lines that are not necessary, you know, like Caterpillar and Sunbelt and ones that you have no use for. So with a little bit more effort on you self-reporting and establishing these accounts, they could really help your business um, with Dun & Bradstreet, Experian, and Equifax, especially if you do the self-reporting. Um, so let me get into... Um, let me get into the questions here. And then we'll break into that a little bit more. Uh, let's see here. Don't know, Anthony. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Uh, Robert. Hello. Um, Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being a loyal member to the Get Business Credit YouTube channel. Um, Journey Farms audio is good. Okay, good. So Journey Farms, I'm not going to pull up the email right right now, you know, but I know you had emailed me. But I'll tell you, there's I've been on the phone with Synchrony Bank um, several times in the past week and today as well dealing with the lows there's certain th factors and certain things they look at so the data has to match it's an automated system i don't remember if you said you called them or not but i know you said you got the seven to ten day uh message i don't know if you had called them or not because i literally answered like three times today uh, emails about the seven to ten day message um so i'd have to look back at my email but um one person said today that I was actually on the phone with one of the subscribers said they got that seven to 10 day message, you know, over the weekend. And then um, I talked to him today on the phone, talk about business credit and stuff. And they said they actually got approved for the Conoco Phillips and JC Penney's card, but they got the seven to 10 day message and um, they called into Synchrony and Synchrony just needed to verify something, um, business information with them, but they got approved for, I think, a thousand each on those. So um, you might want to call in if, you, if I'm not sure if you're the one that already called in or not, but you might want to call in and uh, and talk to them because it might be something off with your um could be the phone number listed in the 401 business directory. I know they cross reference that. Um, so definitely check that out, but don't give up on Synchrony Bank. You want to build that relationship with them. And even if you got denied now and you can't figure out why, you know, they will tell you on the phone if you call them, they'll tell you exactly what the issue is, why they couldn't approve you. Even if you got one of those generic letters in the mail. It doesn't matter. That's going to generate no matter what. And you're going to say, you know, certain things, but that's not really necessarily the reason why you got denied. There's other factors. That's why it's better to talk to a rep on the line. Uh, hey, Drew, Mr. Drew, how are you doing? 
Okay, the audio is good. That's good. Mesba, Mesba is uh, the guy that actually does the, some of my designing for me, the thumbnails and stuff you guys see. Um, Aslus uh, 2884 loves them, support set on the phone with them, and went through the um, entire car radio installation. Yeah, I had Crutchfield back in the day, years ago um back when i was like 16 and i was like 25 years ago about you know but i never knew they had business um you know business to business relationship hello geo how you doing what about capital one business credit card so that's robert um that's going to be a personal guarantee like the spark card it's still going to be a personal guarantee so you're going to have to have a um the de decent personal score but if you already have a relationship with capital one then um you should be able to get approved for any of the business cards they have e-man how you doing thanks for tuning in uh, do you have a step-by-step -step video? I have several step-by-step -step videos. Just have to um, look through my videos. Uh, the most recent one would be the step-by-step -step in 2021, building business credit. Um, but definitely advise you to watch some of my live casts, the past live casts, because I give updates on some of those. Because things are never-ending changing with uh, business credit, especially with reporting uh geo great channel thank you so much appreciate it uh jean claude hello how are you doing i think you gave me a ring i believe possibly i came up with my call id this the last name sounds familiar We'll get into some interesting things here in a few minutes, you guys. I'm just going through the comments, so just bear with me with that. Appreciate the support so much. Um, Aslis 2884, Synchrony always wants to verify something. Yeah, I mean, like I said, uh, you know, the JC Pennies and the Phillips 66 Conoco 76 card for me, I have no business, you know, uh, credit build up at all for that particular LLC. I did last week, got a proof for. Um, 1500 with um, JC Pennies and what was it? A um, thousand with uh, my Conoco Phillips. Let me show you guys here too. Um, I don't know if I I had it here. Let me see if I can find it. Um, manage my account. Uh, let me see if it's if the information's already saved. Yeah, so the card came in today, you guys, by the way. So you guys can see here, uh, it shows right here, It's a, and it's revolving. You guys can see it's a $1,000 limit. So with the, and this one does report, and I had no business credit at all. I did have an Experian Intel score of 42. I, have, I had the 42 because even though there's no trade lines, like I said before, you know, business credit scores aren't solely based on having business credit trade lines reported it goes into things like your industry code where your business actually located what type of business it is how well the profile is filled out the data they have on um, your business so those are a factor so i can tell you guys with this one i didn't have uh, my business listed in the 411 directory and um, synchrony approved me and um, JC Penney's, which is backed by Synchrony as well, approved me for fifteen hundred um, as a net thirty account. But like I said, the Phillips card, this one is um, a revolving card, which is good, and it does report. The JC Penney's card doesn't, but like I said, you want to build that business relationship up with Synchrony to be able to get like the lowest card, Amazon staple. Um, Sam's Club. So back to what I was saying is 
the lows, um, like I said last week, I went ahead and applied for the lows under the same exact information because I was thinking, hey, I got approved for these two with a newer LLC that has no business credit. So I'd trade lows because it's backed by Synchrony. I got them. I didn't get declined, but I didn't get the approval either. I got the call in to the bank. So I called in and, you know, went through several reps. And like I said, they wanted me to um, call my phone company and get make sure my numbers listed in the business 401 directory assistance. It was not. So I did that, you know, when we got off the phone last week, did that and just got confirmation on Sunday that uh, list yourself. It, um, got accepted into the one of the three numbers that I have got accepted into the business directory. So um, I'm waiting a couple of days for that to kind of populate to get into the system as low Synchrony Bank told me to just to wait. So waiting for that to happen. And then I'll call um, Synchrony Bank about the Lowe's card and, um, you know, get uh, hopefully proof for that. And I'll give you guys data points on that once I know more. I already have a Lowe's card, I think 3,500 or 5,500. I don't use it. I've used it a couple of times back in like 2018 when I got it. Um, I don't have it right, um, any use for it really right now. So, um, but like I said, I was kind of being the guinea pig for you guys, especially the ones that are just starting out building business credit. I want to see, you know, what the data points are. You know, Synchrony seems to be um, generous about, you know, uh, giving out credit lines as long as you have certain things in order. And everything kind of has to cross-reference. So what I can tell you is make sure that whatever's on your NAV report with Experian, make sure that matches up on your application that you're doing with any of the Synchrony Bank um, underwriting applications. Make sure it matches up and you're listed in the 401 directory business directory it will increase your chances for approval but you know even if everything's perfect don't think you're going to just get an amazon or a sam's club mastercard uh, it may still take you know building up business credit but um you know it can't hurt to build up the relation inner banking relationship with synchrony bank so that's why i I'd personally advise to get the jc pennies card and the uh, Phillips Conoco uh, revolving card. And then go after, you know, your Lowe's and your Sam's, Mas Sam's Club MasterCard um, and the Amazon. So let's see here. So many people tuned in. Let's see here. Um, yeah, let me... Let me see if it's here. So here's the number, you guys. I think you can use this number. I'm sure it's this one's going to go right to the, like the counts, but um, I'm sure you guys can use this number um, to get through. Just tell them that you had an application, you know. Um, email, question, question. Um, yeah, just go through that. Robert got denied. No train lanes. Uh, Robert, shoot me an email. Like I said, support at uh, joshvanhorn.com. Shoot me over if you do have NAV already. Shoot me over what your Experian profile um, is listed. But it just depends on what, you know, what that's showing with NAV. So I don't know if your situation, if you just started your LLC or your INC in the last month or so, that could be why. There's too many variables that matter, you know. But I can, you know, kind of tell you if I know more information because everybody's different. I can give you an idea what likely the cause is why you're getting denied. But don't give up. Like I said, try in a couple weeks or something. Um I just need to know your situation better. Shoot me an email. I'll do the best I can to help you out, point you in the right direction on uh, what steps you need to take. Uh, let's see here. Okay, Gene Glad. Yeah, I, I saw that on my uh, phone. You didn't leave a message. If you leave a, a voicemail, then I'll get back to you because... Um, 
I have no way of knowing because, you know, you have to leave a voicemail. Everybody that left a voicemail, I returned their, their call today. Uh, Rodney Jones, have you ever tried the Wells Fargo security uh, credit card? N no, I, I personally haven't um, tried that. Um, I have a Wells Fargo uh, credit card, but I haven't tried their um, secured card. Um, so, I'll, but I'll try to have a guest on that actually just got us a uh, Wells Fargo secured card to give some more data points. I don't want to put out the data points that um, it's not 100% correct, like always. Image Printing Plus. Hey, what's up, Lincoln? How are you doing? Five eight four four Lamcia, really condemnable. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Seven Hills, how you doing? I haven't seen you in a while. Nice to see you joining in. Uh, Kendall Jones, so far you have covered more on business credit than any other channel with actual data. Thank you. I try my best, and yes, I hundred percent agree with you because I follow pretty much every business credit channel out there and try to fill in the gaps on where everybody's lacking and not getting to the point. Um, a lot of them are trying to upsell you for their services or their coaching. I don't do that. It's unnecessary. Uh, Moses G, how are you doing, my brother? Whether it's Moses G. This uh, was that you that called me, left a voicemail. Um, uh, I think you sent a text earlier today as well. Anyways, um, if you're free after this live cast, maybe I'll have a few minutes. We can jump on the phone. So here's the phone number, you guys, for Synchrony Bank. If you got the seven to ten day um, notice for Conoco Phillips or J.C. Penney's, uh, give this number a call. Try to give it a call and let them know your business information tell them that you got the seven to ten day notice message and you just wanted to check if there's anything um why you didn't get the auto approval journey farms thank you thank you so much um let's see here denbell edwards good evening good evening how are you doing A bad gastro. I have the Sam's Club business store card and the Lowe's business card. I was still denied for the JC Penney's business card and the Phillips card. I called to make sure, but yet was still denied. So if you have those two higher ones, then the reason why you could have been denied for those lower ones is because you're already at your max credit limit with those two combined. So at the lows, I don't know what your credit limit is. You can chime that in if you would like to. And the Sam's Club Business Store card, uh, chime those in on the limits that you got on those. But there is, to today when I talked to Synchrony, there is an internal limit that they're gonna give you maximum limit with Amazon, Lowe's, Phillips 66, JCPenney's, you know, it, it's gonna be a combined limit. So what you can do, is um, this does work and happen because I know a few people that just recently did it. You can, I wouldn't say to do it with the JC pennies because it doesn't report, it's kind of unnecessary. But if you already have Lowe's and the Sam's Club and you want to get the Phillips card because it's revolving, it is a good card and it does report. So you can lower, say, 500 or 1,000 off of your Sam's Club um, amount or your Lowe's and have them shifted over to the Phillips 6676 card. Okay, Moses, yeah, just, um, I'll hit you back later. Um, so, so yeah, Bad Castro, 3,500 Sams, 1,500 with Lowe's. I mean, like I said, JC Penney's is not something really you probably need. It's not really necessary because it doesn't really report. But the Phillips 66 is a good revolving card. So, you know, if you don't use the Lowe's very often, but you could use the gas, I would call Synchrony back and ask them if they can shift, say, 500 or 1,000 from the 
um, Lowe's card and uh, open up account with a Phillips 66 revolving card. And you might get lucky with that. Because there's an internal limit no matter what under your business. So it's going to be a combined risk score with Synchrony Bank. So that risk score is going to be, say, 5,000 like yours is at 5,000. So maybe that's the most Synchrony Bank will approve you for at the current moment with your business credit. Um, that's the most they feel comfortable with. And that's, say, across all five of the uh, Synchrony Bank cards um, accounts. So just keep that in mind. No problem. Are right, you guys asking any questions? Um, and then I'm going to get into the vendors that do not report why they're beneficial. Already touched on that a little bit, but a lot of you guys just tuned in. So I'm going to go through like Crutchfield, Otterbox, Tire Discounters, um, and why they may be beneficial for your business. Every business is different. So um, that's what I'm going to be covering here in a minute. So if you guys have any questions before I get into that, go ahead and shoot me the questions. We're up to like 45 people have just tuned in. Um, so shoot me any questions you guys have right now. And um, I'll do my best to answer those questions. If not, I'm going to be starting to cover. Um, and this may be getting up to, into a boring subject that some of you guys may not be interested in too, but you definitely want to stay around and um, listen to what I have to say about this because it may not be useful for your business right now, but maybe in one month or three months or six months down the line for your business, it will be beneficial. And we're not just going to be talking about Crutchfield and Otterbox and Tire Discounters. We're going to be talking about several other um, businesses that you can apply for. You know, so um, I guess we'll get into it right now. Uh, let me see here. Mr. Drew, uh, you know, I, I had Micro Center because I was a computer geek before. I had Micro Store card. I think they're through Web Bank. Let me check real quick. Um, I had that um, card because Micro Center is all over um, Columbus. I rebuilt computers and custom built computers. I had a account with them i believe it was like a net 15 card but this was like back in 2012 but that's a good one there uh business account let's see what that one is then we'll cover other things here in a minute you guys so just stay tuned um i can tell you pretty quick on what their um Let's see here. I don't want to bore other people that aren't interested in this, so shoot me an email. I'll have to do some research, but they probably have a um, – I know before it was with Web Bank. I don't know what it is right now. So let me just check one more thing here. Business credit. Um, yeah, the insider credit. But this is the individual one, so. I'm just trying to look and see what card it is actually through. It's through Wells Fargo. Um I'm not sure if the business card is through Wells Fargo, but that's one I'll be included in the list here um, in the next two days or so. So um, just stay tuned for that because I'm going to be covering Citibank tomorrow, Community Bank on Wednesday, and then Thursday I'll do some Wells Fargo because there's a couple Wells Fargo ones as well. Just like the video I did today a little bit ago before this video, I talked about the Synchrony Bank back cards, which is, like I said, JCPenney's, Conco Phillips, Revolving, Lowe's, um, Sam's Club MasterCard, and the Amazon Net55 line credit. Okay, so let's 
kind of touch on a few of these. So <clears throat> you guys have to understand that even if a business doesn't report, say a trade line that you get approved for, even though it doesn't report, it doesn't mean that it's not a good trade line. So would you rather buy, you know, products through like Soma that's worthless or uh, Crown or Shirtsy that are overpriced and stuff you probably really can't use as your business? Or would you rather go through, say, Crutchfield Business? So here's uh, Crutchfield Business, and you can buy all kinds of stuff. I mean, they have all kinds of stuff for your business from cameras, home audio TVs, you know, pro audio, all kinds of stuff. I'm not saying this is best for every business, but, you know, a lot of businesses could find useful um equipment with crutchfield that you may use and they have good pricing too and with a business account um, they typically will give you anywhere from 5 to 15 20 percent off if you get set up with a business account so you have to go to business.crutchfield.com and request an account and then account rep will get back to you they're really cool um, and then you can apply for credit terms how you can get them to report, they don't report, but how you can get them to report is either through um, Don Bradstreet Credit Builder or the Experian 189 a year annual fee um, for your small business reports. You can actually submit trade lines through that. Um, so that's one. And then another one is Otterbox Solutions. They have chargers, you know, gaming stuff, computer stuff, cases. And they also offer um, net 30 terms. Um, so this is, you know, and they give you discounts as well. Volume discounts. You can be a reseller, sell products online. You know, they're a huge brand when it comes to cell phone cases, you know. Um, and you can sell those. Everybody's looking for an Otterbox case. It's like one of the best selling cell phone cases on the market. Um and then tire discounters. Um, um, so, or maybe maybe it's not tire discounters because I don't have that right in front of me. Um, let's see here. It's yeah, it's discount tire. I'm sorry. So, and I actually set up account with discount tire as well. Um, So discount tires. So if you're in trucking or towing or anything like that, um, delivery, box truck business or anything like that, then, um, you know, this could be beneficial to you. They give you discounts and they give you a, it's net 15 payment terms. So, um, you know, so it's, it's usable. I guess I, the point I'm trying to make with you guys is try thinking outside the box. If you've already got those tier ones and some of those tier twos, don't keep going after some other trade lines that are unnecessary for your business that you can't use, like Sunbelt or, you know, Jewelers ones. Don't go after those. Go after ones that still offer payment terms, but maybe they don't report, but the money that you would spend on annual fees or ordering from crown or summa every couple months or shirtsy that couple hundred bucks that you're spending you could put towards uh credit builder with dun and bradstreet or experian and get that trade line reported so i mean that's um you know i just want you guys to think outside the box and just don't look at the reporting side yes it's a little bit more work but don't waste your money it's unnecessary you know um let me go to the uh, comment section here do you have any recommendations for accounts at places like restaurant depot for food services actually yeah restaurant depot is another one and then um I think the other one's like Whitman. I know this because I actually set up a uh, nightclub bar in Cincinnati, Ohio. And this was also like 10 years ago, but I had uh, terms with credit terms with them. 
So, um, and what's good about them, I believe it was, uh, it started, started with a W, but it's a national company for restaurant supply. Um, but they sell actually refurbished used um, kitchen and restaurant equipment. And you can get payment terms with that as well, you know, and it's lightly used. But, um, you know, what I can tell you about, say, the food service or restaurant equipment, pretty much any business to business company out there offers financing in house. And a lot of those are done internally, especially when it comes to niches and stuff like Restaurant Depot. Um, it's going to be a small underwriter or in house. And as long as you have some basic business credit established, you know, you may be able to get approved and they may say you're spending 20,000 on equipment. You put down say two or $3,000, then they'll finance the rest. I know that for a fact, it's actually pretty easy to get the restaurant equipment financed. That's pretty easy, even with limited business credit, James. So, um, Shoot me an email and I'll do some research and find you the best options. Any of you guys have um, whatever your business is, just shoot me an email support at joshvanhorn.com. Tell me what business you have and what type of vendors that you're interested in getting. And I'll shoot you back within a day or two. I'll shoot you back some options that offer uh, financing or net 30 terms or some type of net terms um, that you can actually utilize. You know, and not all of them need, you don't need to have a big business credit build up to get approved for them, especially those niche type companies. If you have a beauty salon, Sally's Beauty Salon, I mean, Sally's Beauty Supply, they give you uh, net 30 payment terms as well. They don't report, but you can get them to report, uh, you know, using one of the services I was talking about. So, no problem, no problem. See, I'm not going to put out too much information about eCredible. So eCredible, if you have like utility payments, those can get um, accepted. But when you pay the extra fee, I think it's $20 to report individual ones. It's even you pay that $20 to eCredible, it doesn't guarantee acceptance with Dun & Bradstreet, Experian, Equifax. It doesn't guarantee and the chances are it's probably not going to get accepted. Um, utility payments, phone, stuff like that. Yeah, I, I, that's no problem. But your best bet is going through like um, the Experian business, small reports, the membership one. If you want to get Exper um, you know, listed with uh, your Experian business credit report or the Dun & Bradstreet monthly credit builder uh, program, I think you can do like five a month for their basic package it's like 150 dollars 149 dollars a month but don't get it now get the trade lines established even if you get like two um say this month and you paid them say crutchfield or otterbox or restaurant supply you know you establish that account you know and then the next month you got one or two more that don't report you know establish those pay them back you know and then once you have like three to five that you've already paid then get the dun bradstreet credit builder and then go into there and submit all of them at once don't pay that monthly fee it's unnecessary if you're just submitting like one you know a month it's just not worth it so just one at a time i mean, I mean don't do one at a time it's unnecessary i mean if you got three to five trade lines that take you say one to three months that do not report the data is still going to be there so then when you report it with a uh, dun bradstreet credit builder you're doing them kind of all at once and then dun bradstreet's going to reach out to those three to five companies and confirm that you paid them and everything so there's no re reason to do it now wait until you already have those terms set up with those three to five companies and then do it. And then you can cancel the credit builder if you wish, after you got those reported, 
and then a couple months later you could you know re-sign up john white thank you so much for the super chat appreciate that so much Uh, let's see here. Darnell Anthony, can I apply for a Sam's card or is it too early? Um, I think for your case, it's too early, Darnell, to be honest with you. Um, I think it's still too early. You're going to want to get a, um, a couple trade lines reporting. You just got the NAV business boost, so wait until that's actually reporting. But, you know, I've seen other people get approved recently in the last six months, get approved the Sam's Club MasterCard that only had one trade line reporting on experience. So, you know, um, but just give it a little bit more time, you know, uh, wait until you've generated some uh, one or two trade lines with Experian, and then you're going to increase your chances for the same Club MasterCard. Seven Hills, first three trade lines for business. Uh, NAV business boost is the very first one i recommend if you can get approved uh quill and uline they may make you want to pay you know first three months or a few first few invoices so if that happens just don't worry about it move on to the next ones um but as far as um after that if you can't get uline and quill um I would say a gas card if you can get approved, even with the like the Fuelman Mastercard, uh, or not Fuelman, the Universal Fleet Core Mastercard. Worst case scenario, if you have no business credit, they will give you one for two hundred dollars. Um, just make sure your personal credit is frozen with Experian. Get that one. They do report, um, so that one's a good one, and they match your deposit three times. So if it's two hundred dollar deposit, then they'll give you six hundred dollar credit limit. And there's a, I mean, there's a couple others. It just depends on what your, what reports you're going after because everyone's different on who they report, what trade lines. You know, I, I want to mention a couple, but um, that I've talked about before. But there's a lot of, like, for instance, Shirtsy, you know, and Crown. They're not the greatest, but there's some reporting issues going on with them. So I don't want to, you know, suggest those right now. Um, this week sometime I'll clarify exactly what's going on with both of them. Fabian, uh, hey, I got approved for the Phillips card. You recommended, great, awesome, awesome. Uh, just keep going after, you know, strategically ones that you can actually use. God's Girl 51, uh, Quill's not reporting right now. No, they are reporting. Uh, they weren't reporting before, but over a week ago, they started reporting. You can confirm that by calling them. Um, they'll let you know they are reporting. Denbell Edwards, Red Spectrum is a good trade line. I don't know anything about them, um, so I can't advise. I've heard about that a couple times, just not something I've checked into. John White, one question I do have when it comes to applying for business credit, does applying for too many cards hurt our scores like it would applying for personal credit? So no, not really. So inquiries don't really hurt your credit, your business credit. Now, if you are you have like 20 in one month, all through say Experian, but the chances are them all going through one credit bureau getting pulled is very highly unlikely. Some pull through Equifax, some pull through Credit Safe, some pull through Dun & Bradstreet, and some pull through Experian. So even if you were applying for, say, 15 in one month, the chances are it's going to be slim that those are all, you know, pulling through one. So you're still going to be with, like, you know, two to five with each uh, business credit bureau, and that amount of inquiries are not is not going to affect anything when it comes to scores it's nothing that's going to affect negatively i should say
Denville Edwards, do I have to pay down my Sam's Club store card to get the MasterCard? Yeah, that's advisable. If they gave you the Sam's Club store card, um, if you want to get the MasterCard, you're going to want to pay that balance down to at least under 10% utilization. Seven Hills, is Phillips good for the first three? Yeah, it is because it reports to Experian if you can get approved. You're just going to need to make sure everything matches with um, on your Experian business credit report when you're applying for the Phillips card and make sure that um, the, your phone number is listed in the directory assistant. That's not really necessary, but um, mine wasn't, but you know, it's a good rule of thumb to have that in place. You guys give me one second. I'll be right back. I just have to check on my daughter real quick. I'll be right back. Just stay with me, please. Give me 30 seconds. I'll be right back. All right. Sorry about that, everybody. Sorry about that. Any questions you guys have, shoot me an email. I mean, shoot me a chat message. Uh, let's see. Denville Edwards, do I have to pay down? Yeah, you. Do, uh, I think you hit that twice. But yeah, you want to pay that down if you want to get this MasterCard. And once you pay it down, you actually, if you want to keep that same one, they may be able to convert it over to you or over for you from the store card to the master card, especially if you already have 90 days of uh, payment history with them. God's girl 51 uh, for what's good credit for trucking business besides fleet card. So depends what you could, could use and what you could. Um, if you ever need tires, even if it's just once a year or twice a year, then discount tire, um, offers a net 30 account business account. It's going to, you're going to have to self-report it, but, uh, they will give you a credit line just kind of like the flight card. Steve. Hey, Steve. Is there any reason to pay the DMB for any service? Yes, that's kind of what I was talking about, but not right now. Um, you want to establish some net 30 vendors or credit lines with businesses that you could use. Um, get three or three to five of them. Pay them back or whatever, even if they don't report, pay them back and then get the uh, Dun & Bradstreet Credit Builder. And I think with the basic package, it allows you to get submit five per month, uh, self-reporting. And then once you submit those individual accounts, then Dun & Bradstreet rep will contact those vendors and confirm that the payment history you have with those. But don't do it now. Don't do it unless you already have, you know, three to five non-reporting um, vendors and they're not reporting. However, SOMA and strategic um, network solutions, those you cannot get reported with Dun & Bradstreet. So you want to really utilize those on the credit builder. You want to utilize the ones that are, say, like Crutchfield, um, you know, the Otterbox, Tire, Sally's Beauty Supply, you know, those are the ones you want to utilize to get those self-reported, manually reported. To Bell Edwards, I got the BP gas card for 6,500. Who did they report to? So that's Fleet Corps and they report to um, Experian. 
So they fleet core, especially the BP card, can be a little slow reporting. It takes 60 to 90 days to get reported, but they do report. Yeah, congrats on that, uh, Denbell. Congrats on that. Just as uh, Darnell said. Um, so yeah, you guys have any other questions? Sorry to get a mint so I don't cough here. Um, so like I said, don't focus just on vendors that report because you could literally build your business credit up 10 times faster over say a three to six month period of time. If you just do a little search, find vendors that you could actually use for your business, like stuff that you could actually use and that's at a decent price. So there's, you can type exact as a string that you can use in Google. Um, let me see here. So, like I said before, you guys can actually go through on um, Google. I'm going to have to make a video about this because you guys can literally, there's certain strings that you can use that no one really knows about, but there's certain strings that you can use in Google search terms that will find any sites that talk about net 30 payment terms that they offer that include certain words like say restaurant or uh, whatever, but there's thousands and thousands of companies out there that no one talks about that offer, you know, payment terms, even if they don't report, like I said, you can get them self-reported. Um, I pulled this up before and I'm trying to um, remember which one it was that I had. I'm just going to have to make a video about it so you guys will have exactly what you need to actually look it up. But there's certain strings that you can actually use, like I said, within um, Google that you can find anything to do with any type of business. Even if they don't report, you can get them reported. Eddie for day. What's up, man? Uh, can I apply for Sam's Cub uh, credit card with the AD Paydex score and four trade lines? So Eddie, um, Sam's Club is underwritten by San Cunha Bank. They don't pull Dun & Bradstreet. They actually pull Experian. So it depends on what your Experian uh, score is. But as long as you have a couple trade lines reporting on your Experian business credit, um, you should have no problem getting approved for some type of limit with the Sam's Club card. There's no way to really do, uh, pick the Sam's Club MasterCard or the store card. You fill out the application and then they'll either approve you for the store card or the MasterCard. If you have better business credit, then you'll get the MasterCard. If they're unsure about you or you have limited um, credit, something signaling, then they'll be the store card. Dr. Sean, good to see you. Um, do you know anything about Wayfair commercial? I need a, a vendor for furniture. So Wayfair used to offer commercial. I know that because a friend of mine um, in Greenville, Ohio, actually had an account with them. I'm not sure if they still offer that now. Um, let me just check. I mean, they're probably going to, um, yeah, I know a lot of people have actually emailed me about um, getting a actual personal home furniture 
you know, and a trade line for that. So I don't think they have um, a business card per se. Um, let me look here just so we're. Yeah, I'm going to check. They might have, if you join this, this is Unlock Pro Pricing. So they may have a some type of uh, business account, uh, card, but um, I'll check and let you know. Silverman Fox, hey, do you do credit repair? And I mean, I do, but I don't. I do it for certain people, but it's not something I enjoy doing. Um, it's time consuming, but... Um, Later this week, I have two um, um, credit repair, one credit repair guy coming on, and he's the guy that I did the video about. He's the owner of the Credit Repair Co., and we're going to be talking about do-it-yourself credit repair, and if you want to hire him, you can hire him. Um Karen, no, they do not currently. Yeah, I, I mean, I know they did years ago, but I, I'm not sure, you know, like right now, if they do it. You know, there's nothing on here that says they do, but um, shoot me an email just to remind me that you want uh, what type of furniture you want, and I'll do some research finding somebody that uh, will suit your needs for the offers a some type of payment terms for business credit that could also help you build business credit. Yep. Um, Steve, I'm going to be working on that soon. That's part of the joshvanhorn.com system that I uh, set up. It, it actually does that, but um, yeah, that's, that's going to happen soon just so people will be alerted if they're not actually on YouTube at the time. But yes, yeah, thanks for the reminder on that. So yeah, you guys, um, I guess I can't stress out enough. If you're looking for business trade lines that offer some type of financing or credit, business credit for particular niches, rather that be you need office furniture, you know, home type furniture, spa furniture, salon furniture, salon surprise, uh, supplies, whatever type of products you may need, shoot me an email support at joshvanhorn.com and, you know, give me anywhere from 12 to 48 hours to respond back to you. I'll do some research myself and try to find um, some vendor trade lines that suit your particular needs. So you're not wasting money, you know, buying stuff that you don't need. And even if they don't report, it's still fine. Like I said, do the self-reporting after you've established some relationship with them. Just, you know, do the credit builder or the Experian one. And, um, you know, you, you can get those reported. All right, you guys have any other questions? There's still about 40 people here right now. Any other questions you guys have? Um, that's kind of what I wanted to cover today was pointing out about even though, you know, certain vendor trade lines don't report, if, you, if you're stuck on ones that just report automatically, I'm sorry, you're probably not going to, you know, build business credit up very fast. And you're probably going to waste money on products that you really don't use. You know, don't apply for accounts that you have no intention or no use for using. Um, because if anything, it's going to cost you money, you, you, you know, you don't need to spend. Gas, everybody can use gas, so you can use gas cards. But you go after, like, say, Caterpillar card or Sunbelt rentals, you know, not everybody can use those. You're not in the line of business to use those. So there's other ways to utilize your time to apply for different um, 
credit that could be better suited for your particular business. Yeah, don't forget you guys to do the thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Do a thumbs up on the live stream right now. I'd appreciate it. And also, you guys, I'm really trying to get 5,000 subscribers by April 1st. So I think we're 1,100 subscribers away from that. But right now I'm averaging 75 to 110 subscribers, new subscribers a day. So if you're not a subscriber, please smash that subscribe button. Uh, uh, double check me. Um, I'd really appreciate that. Steve, uh, I bought a gift card from Quill. So, that, I mean, that's one way to get the accounts going, too, is if you buy, like, Visa or uh, gift cards from, like, Quill, you can utilize it that way, too. That's one way to do it. Yep, as less exactly. Thumbs up on that. Yeah, Jerry, uh, thanks for tuning in. But, yeah, you can watch the replay. But basically, I was just covering that um, even though certain trade lines like Crutchfield, they offer business discounted pricing, uh, business to business, um, net 30 payment terms, even though they don't report, you can get them self-reported with uh, Donnelly annual membership. Same as with like Otterbox and um, Discount Tire. I have an account with um, all three of them, but Otterbox did not give me terms for whatever reason, but Crutchfield did and uh, Discount Tire did. So you could utilize these different trade lines that don't report, and there's thousands of them out there. Like I said, you guys just have to do the research or just shoot me an email, tell me what type of uh, products you guys are looking for, what type of trade lines on products you're looking for. I'll do a research for you guys. Um, support at joshvanhorn.com. And, um, you know, give me anywhere from 12 to 48 hours, and I'll get you back a list of uh, a couple of vendors you could try. That offer business credit even though they don't report you can still get them reported yourself so don't be so narrow-minded about uh, business trade lines because if you just get the same ones everybody's getting you know it can kind of be a red flag as well you know get trade lines that you can actually utilize Darno is Shell Fleet part of Divi? No, so Divi is Divi, Shell is Shell, but um, the Shell cards are actually underwritten by the bank that underwrites it, and everything is underwritten through Wex Bank, W E X Wex Bank, and they're a very large bank. Divi also, uh, the credit line with Divi is underwritten through Wex, but Divi's owned by some guys in Salt Lake City and also some, you know, venture capital guys. It's just their the credit card, the Divi card, and their underwriting procedures goes through Wex. So Wex is actually doing the credit check and everything. Um, and then in, same with the, you know, Wex cards with um, the fleet cards, Shell, Chevron, Exxon, 7-Eleven, you know, Quick Trip, those are all through Wex as well. But it's a different division with Wex. It's not the same exact department with Wex. Uh, hey, Nick, uh, I have five reporting with uh, DNB 80 Paydex and four on Experian 78. Just got the Phillips 66, 1,000. Should I wait until I make a payment? Um, on Phillips first or just apply to JC Penney's. Honestly, I did both in the same day and I don't even have that those good of uh, scores. I don't I didn't have any trade lines at all and I got it approved for both at the same time. So um I think I put a thousand for Phillips and as far as credit line uh 
requested. I think I put a thousand and then JC Penney's I put fifteen hundred monthly spend. I got approved for fifteen hundred on JC Penney's just an hour after doing the Phillips one. So you could go ahead and do the um JC Penney's now and just put a thousand or fifteen hundred on your monthly spend. Don't do do crazy amount because that can also result in a denial. But I think you'll be fine. Just make sure that whatever information you put on the Phillips 66 application, make sure you put down the same exact information and don't use autofill, auto form fill, because that can trigger a denial too, because you're not putting it in exactly the way that like Experian Business Credit Report is. So if you have NAV, check on there exactly how um the phone numbers and the address format and everything and the business name make sure it's all correlates and matches but i think you'd be good to go on uh i'd be shocked if you got denied for the jc penny's card if you got the philip 66 for a thousand i think you would get approved right away for the jc penny so i'd be shocked if you got denied for that Image Printing Plus, Wells Fargo told me they report my secured business card payments to, um, okay, uh, Small Business Financial Exchange. Yeah, that. I mean, that's what I heard. Um, no, I don't have any video. I mean, I did a video about Small Business Financial Exchange along with the other credit bureaus. So if you go through the my old videos i think it was back in early january i did one about the small business financial exchange but i didn't cover too many data points on that um but i will make a video i already have that on my list to uh, make a more in-depth video about the small business financial exchange because people think just because it reports to small business financial exchange that it's automatically going to get reported to all the business bureaus that's not how it works unfortunately that's the way that it was intended to work, but that's not the way that it, it actually works, especially in 2021. So I will make a video about that. John White, I'm a photographer and a musician. Any leads on places like Sam Ash? Each photo. Yeah, John White, shoot me an email, support at joshvanhorn.com. Uh, there's several different um, uh, musician and um, photograph companies out there as far as that sell that, that equipment, especially on the music side, um, that you could actually get business credit with. In particular, Crutchfield Business they have you know you're talking about cameras look i mean they have video cameras um well i need to go here i mean they have everything you can think of when it comes to you know um cameras and photography so and their prices are not bad as well they offer financing this is on the personal side but on the business side you need to request that account and then a rep will reach out to you by phone and they'll get to know your business a little bit more and they maybe will give you a discount on like the pricing anywhere from five to twenty percent and then you can self-report that but they do offer um, uh, net 30 terms so and as far as music um, equipment there's several of them out there um, some of it's going to depend on where you're located at the state you're located at so just let me know that information but there's always ways to get business credit you know like i said if you're focusing on just ones that report you're you build business cr uh, credit the wrong way and the wrong attitude because it's not a game to manipulate the business credit just to get trade lines to you know build up business credit once you have like five to ten of these tier one or tier two credit uh initial business trade lines and they're reporting like what do you just want to keep going after trade lines that you really don't have any use for it's unnecessary so you need to go after ones that you can actually 
utilize, even though they don't report, but it's stuff that you may need, like, you know, lenses or cameras, you know, audio, video equipment, you know, musician equipment. So there's, you know, so much, and you can get those self-reported later too, if you want to, you know. No problem, Nick, no problem. I would go ahead and apply for that. Tyrone Tuck TV, hello, Tyrone. Or was it, am I saying it wrong? I just glanced at it, it Throne Talk TV. All right, you guys, you guys have any other questions, uh, let me know or shoot me an email support at joshvanhorn.com. Just let me know. Um, hey, thanks, Nick. Appreciate the super chat. Appreciate that super chat so much. Um, definitely helps the channel grow and supports the channel efforts. So thank you so much for that super chat. Seven Hills, do you do you a few trade lines to get this trade line? I don't know what you mean, Seven Hills. Uh, tell me that again. Do you a few trade lines to get this trade line? Uh, let me know again. Um, Crutchfield, is there? Are you talking about Crutchfield? Do you need that? Is that what you're talking about? Seven Hills, is that what you're talking about? Is um, Do you need a few to get that trade line? So if you're talking about Crutchfield, yeah, uh, Crutchfield's a little bit more on the conservative side. Um, but yeah, you could still get approved for it, but they're not going to approve you if you don't have any trade lines. They want to see that you have a couple trade lines. built to win uh who does your channel intro uh that's a buddy of mine uh he does um music producing and uh his name is dj lex lex a lot of people like that intro he's actually cutting a few more uh intros for uh the channel as well Uh, Vanessa, email again. It's uh, support at joshvanhorn.com. Let me just type it here. It's actually in the in the scrolling at the bottom too. Um, So there you go. I'll put that across so you can see it again. If you want to email me, support at joshvanhorn.com. Uh, built to win. Okay, is he for for hire? Yeah, it depends on the project you want to do. But yeah, um, shoot me an email, support at joshvanhorn, and just uh, put in the subject uh, voiceover intro or something like that, DJ Lex. And um, I'll connect to you guys. Okay, Kayla, thanks for joining. Uh, Fabian, what was the universal card you recommended? I don't remember. So that's going to be the um, universal corporate card. Um, Let me see if I can pull it here. Yeah, well, no, that's the PDF. I don't want to do that, but um, let me see if I can find it here, you guys. Yes. So it's going to be this one. It's taking forever here. 
So it's actually fuel man. So if you're going to apply for this, I would advise either go with, because they charge like $4 per month um, and $8 a month for this card. It gives you a little bit different um, rewards, I should say. But the card I got was this one, the $4 a month, but it's MasterCard. So that's uh, on Fuel Man. It's best to go after these universal cards because they they have the Mastercard um, symbol, so you can use it pretty much anywhere. And there's more. Uh, it's not just limited, just fuel only. Although it is limited to certain things, but you're not limited to just only fuel. Eric Williams, how long does it usually take to be able to get a 10K plus credit card for a startup? I would say anywhere from three to six months from the time that you start your LLC. And if you started building business credit up right away with trade lines, anywhere from um, three to six months, it's very much doable as long as you attack it quickly. Can you guys give me just 30 seconds? Let me take a bathroom break. Just give me 30 seconds. I'll be right back, all right? All right, sorry about that, guys. All right. Let's see here. All right, you guys, any more questions you guys have, let me know. Still almost 50 people live right now. Like I said, if you guys um, want to shoot me an email, just shoot me an email. Um, if you need a vendor list that will, even though they don't report, but they'll be ones that are suitable for your business. So just let me know what type of business you have and what type of business products that you're looking, uh, products that you could actually use, utilize for your business. And I'll do my best to get you um, a couple suggestions. And like I said, you can get those reported later. Don't just focus on ones that actually report right now. Um, so yeah, Kendall Jones. Hey, did you get your personal credit channel up? Yeah, it's uh, get personal credit. Um, I had it on the, let me try to find it for you guys here. It's still new channel, but um, Yeah, so if, if you're interested in personal credit, um, I haven't really done a whole lot. I already have like 273 subscribers. I was waiting until I had at least 250 subscribers before I put out videos because it really doesn't make much sense for me to start putting out videos on personal credit um, when there's only like five or ten, you know, subscribers. 
because the content just not going to get viewed unless there's multiple subscribers and then they'll help it go into a small uh, snowball effect as far as getting out there to the right audience. So um, I'll put the link here. Just make sure you subscribe. There's the link. Um, just subscribe and sometime this week I'll have videos um, about how to remove st um, student loans, some late payments and uh, charge offs. And I'll have a um, extremely mastermind expert on the uh, video as well. It will probably be on this channel, but we'll have I'll probably upload the video to both channels actually. But um, yeah, just stay tuned for that. I'm I'm getting working on that here this week. So uh, Vanessa, I have Synchrony Personal with 10K. How do I get a business card? What card do you have with Synchrony on personal side? But uh, Vanessa, I would suggest you watch the last couple of videos I did because I go through the different Synchrony Bank. Let me see here. Um, so a lot of you guys just tuning in, you might have not watched my uh, video that I just put out. Um, right before this live cast, I put this video out so some of you guys may have had time to watch it or catch it but it's this video here um things are loading slow today so it's this one business credit trade line synchrony so i cover the lowe's conoco phillips jc penny's Sam's Club MasterCard and the Amazon um, line of credit net 55. Those are all backed by Synchrony Bank. So you can watch that video if you haven't already watched it. And it gives you a little bit more details on how to get those business credit cards, business trade lines. Um, and then if you're interested in the JC Pennies, check out that video I did four days ago. And as well as the um, Conoco Phillips, it's a revolving card. So both of those are also synchrony. Kendall Jones, I like the vendor list. So all my videos kind of have all the vendors I'd be talking about. Um, but if you have individual like niche for your business that you're interested in, shoot me an email support at joshvanhorn.com. Tell me what type of products you're interested in getting, and I'll do my best to try to find you a customized vendor, one or two suggestions on who to go through. Um, they may not report, but that's okay. You can get this reported later. Just establish the business credit first. Eric Williams, I already answered this a little bit ago. How long does it take to get a 10,000 plus credit card for a startup? Like I said, anywhere, for, if you started your LLC three months ago and you started your, or I should say, if you started your LLC, formed it today or your INC and you went, you know, right away, got your business credit reports set up and started getting starter vendor trade lines and you know, it kind of attacked it aggressively. Three to six months, you should be able to be good enough to be able to get either a Divi card um, or a Sam's Club MasterCard. Dornell, the good teacher. Thanks. Thanks so much. Synchrony Home. Yeah. So, um, if you already have a relationship with Synchrony Bank on the personal side, these are no personal guarantee cards that I'm talking about, but they still are going to pull your basic data. It's not going to be your personal per se, but they're still going to it's still going to be cross-referenced even though it's an uh, no PG for these business cards. But if you already have good relationship with them on the personal side, 
and you have basic business credit built up or you're just starting off, you should probably be pretty okay as far as getting approved for some of these synchrony back cards. Okay, uh, Ikea S. Booker. So I get this question a lot. And so Ikea, here's the video you need to watch. This one here, how to build business credit the correct way. So just if you're not already a subscriber, hit the subscribe button. But um, after this video, after this live stream, just hit my uh, business credit name below and click on videos and scroll until you find this one. So this video explains to you exactly how to correct and update and actually walk you through the process I had to do with updating the Experian business credit report um, and done in Bradstreet. It's pretty self-explanatory and easy, but I walk you through it in any ways because Experian, it's, you have to do it a, through email address, uh, through email, and you can do it by mail, but email is the quickest way with Experian. And I also show you on Dun Brad Street things that you want to look out for. No problem, no problem. Leon, I was approved for wax, but they still have to look over it. Do you know why? Did they give you a credit limit when you applied? Did it say you're approved for a certain amount? If they did then you should be fine. The next step is they need to verify your information. So due to the Patriot Act, they need to confirm, and this happened to me with a WEX card about nine months ago. Um, they approved the account, but they needed to match up with my state driver's license my num uh, driver's license number so everything kind of had a match and i had an old address on my driver's license so it wasn't matching up so i had to get that internally corrected but due to the patriot act they have to match everything up even though they got appro you approved they won't issue and finalize the whole account until they verify through state databases it's due to the patriot act they need to make sure that you know it, they know who you are because you know you can buy fuel and anything with like a credit card or fuel fleet cards or anything like that they're going to have to verify your personal information even if it is a no personal guarantee it's still required by the uh, 9 11 patriot act no problem no problem Vanessa, uh, I got a proof of the Rex card. Have you covered that? It's confusing. So I just made a post today, you guys. Uh, I made a post about it. I didn't really want to cover this before, even though I, I actually now have two Brex accounts, but I didn't really want to cover this before because before Brex was a little bit harder to get unless you met certain requirements. And it's not something I wanted you guys to go after and try to get prematurely. But you can see, like I made this uh, post here, you know, second Brex approval. I did that four hours ago because the card just came in today. So I will make uh, a video about that sometime in the next seven days is my plan. But it can be a little confusing. Um, and there's a couple of different types of Brex accounts, you know, so... Um, Vanessa, what type of credit line did they give? Um, I, they have a couple different ones, secured account or cash account, I think it's called. And then they have a credit line and then they have an e-commerce line. So let me know and I can give you a little bit more information right now, but, um, I'll definitely cover that. Just stay tuned, cover that. And if you guys are just, uh, tuning in, please, uh, hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it and turn that bell notification on because I have a lot of new videos coming up in the next day or two every day having videos coming up this week. Um, so definitely uh, stay tuned for that. And 
if you guys haven't already, please smash that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it as well. So yeah, they gave you 1200. So just wait for that to come in. Um, they'll get back with you once they verify. I don't know if they've already took down your driver's license information. Just wait on that. Uh, you're, you should get a sales executive rep with Wex and um, he will inform you if they need anything else. But there's a after they approve you, there's a second page that you need to go put in the driver's information. I don't know if you already set that up or not, but if you didn't, then you're gonna have to set that up and you should get an email about that. Richard Rowe, thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate that so much. Thank you for everybody for the super chat. Um definitely helps the channel and it's going right back into you guys because like i said i'm donating all the super chats to the small business grant that i'm putting out on the last day of this month for new business owners to apply for three to five thousand dollars Richard Rowe, once verified Wex, gave me 6,000 gas card. Yeah, so um, you, it, Richard's right. You just have to get verified. So they'll approve you, but you, you need to get verified as well. So that's part of it. Just uh, if you just applied today, you should have got an email from, it should have been assigned to a sales executive that's already reached out to you. If they haven't, just wait. They will reach out to you to probably by tomorrow. Yeah, so it says welcome. You should have got an email or something and check your spam box because sometimes the wax, um, not just wax, but a lot of them I found actually found in the spam box. So check that out. Um, double check and make sure because those are mass database emails that are actually sent out once you get approved. So check that out you'll probably get it alerted to actually um, fill out additional information if they need. But as long as it says you got approved, you're approved. You know, they just have to verify in their database through the state records. It's actually going through LexisNexis is who they're actually going to cross-reference your um, driver's license with. They just need to confirm your identity. That's all. Oh, the super chats. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate that. It, like I said, all the super chats are going to go right back in to the business grant that I'm giving away for new business owners. Thousand dollars. The last day of this month is when the website will be up for the grant applications. Three subscribers will be able to um, win that. Um, so I'm just having the final touches done to it, and there's um, legal terms and service conditions that my attorney had to write up. So that's the only thing we're holding up for. And a few of the vendors that you guys watch um, that I talk about, a couple of those are actually some sponsors as well that are giving away, um, donating to the business grant fund. So uh, let's see here. Vanessa, thank you so much for the super chat. Appreciate uh, the donation. Definitely helps. Leon, thank you so much. Appreciate that super chat. Thank you so much, you guys. It really helps the channel and helps the um, it, anything you guys you know do on the super chat or stickers or anything like that. The membership. Just know that it's going back into. Um, other small business owners, some of the ch you know channel subscribers that just started their LLC in the last couple months or the last year, and they don't qualify for the traditional business grants or anything. Um, that's who you're helping. Anybody that applies, and anybody that's doing a super chat, you guys could still apply. It just you had to start your business in the last 12 months. That's the rules. Because um, I want to help out the people that. Um, 
don't traditionally qualify for anything like the SBA grants or anything like that. So that's why we're giving back to at least three, a minimum of three people, but it could be more. So appreciate that again, you guys, so much. So I missed one here. Um, Leon, is it hard to get an auto loan with your LLC established 2021? So no, it's not hard. It's not easy. I don't want to say it's easy either. So Leon, you can check right here. Um, if you haven't already watched these videos, watch them. I did one about the LA business auto loan, no personal guarantee. And then I did another one. Where is it at here? Yeah, so I did another one right here a month ago about Ally, PNC, GMC, I mean GM, Ford, and Toyota. Uh, PNC, it requires personal guarantee. However, the rest do not require personal guarantee if you have enough um, business credit build up. So if you just started, say, in January 2021 and you only have like two or three trade lines, then yes, that's not going to be enough. But I would say if you have six months minimum um, from the time you establish your business and you really attack getting the trade lines built up um, that are reported five to seven to Dun & Bradstreet, five to seven through Experian and Equifax, and you get at least one that is a, and four digits. So preferably you have a trade line that's reporting 5,000 or more, but you want to be at least $1,000 um trade line reporting and once you have that reported then you can you can go to the um, any dealership bet your best chance will be ally ally financial but you can't apply directly through ally you have to go to any of the dealerships if you check out that video that i did um the video covers on how to check for the dealership that you want to go through but um you can check that out and find a dealership near you. But what I can say is you really want to get, I would say, 15 to 20 built up right away. So if you already have three or four right now, you want to get like 10 or 15 more, and then you should be pretty solid. And you're going to want to have a couple thousand dollar down payment, anywhere from two to five thousand dollar down payment. But it, it's possible to do it. it. Everybody's business credit is different. Just like I got $150,000 uh, credit line with Divi after just being open three months, you know, for one of my LLCs, you know, so uh, anything's possible. It just depends on how much business credit you build up, how fast you did, and which trade lines those are reporting to. So if you do it aggressively, then yeah, you can. Do you recommend hybrid credit? So, Vanessa, yeah, I mean, you're always going to be able to build up credit a lot quicker if you mix the two. It just don't do that unless you really have a lot of confidence in your business and it's stable or it's growing where you can justify making that decision. I wouldn't do that for like trade lines per se too much, but I would do that for like leverage to get, um, uh, you know, funding and credit, you know, to, to leverage your business. I would do it. I would definitely do it that way. Um, you're going to, anybody that utilizes some of degree personal guarantee, some of the trade lines or, um, lines of credit, you, you're going to have a, a much quicker, turnaround time on establishing business credit and getting where you want to be with your business if you have good personal credit and you can um, utilize that. I've done that in the past with some of the business uh, credit that I've got over the years. I haven't done it recently though. Um, but yes, it, it's definitely going to speed up things if you, you know, use a mix of your personal guarantee. Just don't overdo it on your personal side. Uh, 
Fabian, um, after I'm approved for fourth gas car, is it safe to go after revolving trade lines? So there's not too many revolving business trade lines per se. There's a Sam's Club MasterCard. And there's a Synchrony, um, if it, Conoco Phillips, but as far as, and that's revolving, but th there really isn't like revolving trade lines or credit cards really out there. There's Amazon, which is net 55, but there really isn't so many revolving ones. There's a couple, but not that many, but those aren't really going to, the ones that you probably are talking about are still going to require personal guarantee. So you're going to have to have a, your personal credit, you know, in order. So there's the corporate cards, but they have to be paid back monthly. So there's a clear card, there's Divi, there's Brax. There's a couple other fintech companies like that. So I have a 150 that I got approved for back in like August last year. Um, and that business was only like three and a half, four months old. And then I got a second account uh, back in December at, Twenty-five thousand or $20,000 credit limit and then they I did a credit limit increase or whatever like a month later increased it to 5000 and then uh, last month the rep reached out to me and they increased it for another credit limit increase up to 40000 but um, how I got those I mean the one isn't too hard but the $150,000 credit limit I think they were a lot more relaxed back then because they were you know I should say more new but they do do a soft pull on your personal credit my personal credit's always been good uh, I don't want to say always but in the last couple of years it's been you know in, in the 700s close to 800 um, so they do a soft pull on your personal credit on Experian and then your business credit they're obviously looking at as well to approve you and you guys know me all my you know business credit is always going to be 89 or higher in the 90s 89 90 um, with Dun & Bradstreet and Experian even if it's brand new LLC I can still get it very quickly up to there um, and then um, also is you need to show capital too. You need to show some liquid that you have skin in the game. So I think when I got approved for the 150,000, I think in the bank account, I had like seven or 9,000 in the account at that time. And then the $20,000 Divi approval, I think I only had like three to 4,000 in that particular business account. So there are two separate businesses though. There's so many factors that go into a Divi approval on a limit on the limits as well. Uh, Fabian says, and who does Universal Premium Fleet uh, Report Court? Uh, so that reports to Experian. That is, um, th it's Fleet Core is the underwriter, so they report to Experian. So I need 50000 for renovations, and that's what I got approved for. I don't understand it and wasn't explained how it works. So it's a, Vanessa, if you got approved for 50000 I don't know what type of business you're in, but renovations for your business or, or what exactly. But anyways, how it works is um, I would have to see your account for sure. But um, if you got approved for 50000 then did you get the Brex card yet? If so... Uh, they offer different things where you can pay by invoice too, where they will actually pay, uh, you know, a vendor that you owe, but you should have got the Brex credit card, corporate card, activate that. And then that should have your uh, credit line on that. You can check your dashboard with Brex. It'll show your credit limit and it should show that 50,000, but you can use that card for anything, but it has to be paid back depending on what card you got, because they keep on changing things, but um, it, it works the same way as like Divi works. Where, so if you spend 10,000 say today, then you have to pay that back in 30 days. It's kind of like American Express, it's a corporate card.
one last thing when i'm applying for business credit do i have an inquiry on my business credit report so yeah there is inquiries on business credit reports uh but they're not anything to worry about um so i really wouldn't worry about that too much as far as that goes because it's not something that's um really important because you can apply say for in one month you can apply for 15 different vendors not all of them even pull credit but even if say 15 of them pull credit they're not all pulling credit through the same bureau so and there's four different bureaus so you have to think of it that way there's only going to be a couple inquiries on each one but um, business inquiries do not have anywhere near any type of effect like personal credit inquiries do uh, Vanessa, you're talking about hybrid, about the hybrid credit. I think you get, uh, I think we're talking about two different things. I was talking about hybrid credit in terms of hybrid, meaning business and personal, because that's also the term for hybrid credit. Uh, are you talking about the company, the hybrid credit, like, like credit suite pushes a lot and stuff? What, what exactly are you talking about? Um, is that what you're talking about? I thought you said you were, you got Brex approval, but let me know so I can clarify that. Yeah, so I mean that the the if you're talking about that hybrid credit, okay, both. So Brax is Brax, so it depends what you got to prove for that. But that's that's different. But um, it, it's best to shoot me an email because it's hard for me to really help you live right here with. Um, out getting into too much personal detail. So shoot me an email, Josh at, or not Josh, but uh, support at joshvanhorn.com. Again, that's support at joshvanhorn.com. I'll help you out with that. With Brex, uh, I can help you understand that it can be. And as far as other programs, I'll have to look into that a little bit for you and understand exactly what your goals are on that. But, um, Again, shoot me an email, support at joshvanhorn.com. I'll be happy to assist. Um, I don't need any personal information from you. Um, just shoot me an email exactly what you're talking about, and I can help you out. Okay, you already shot me an email. All right, just um, I'll get back to you either this evening or by tomorrow, okay? All right, you guys. You guys have any other questions at all? Uh, shoot those final questions. We're coming up on two hours, so... If you guys have any other questions, let me know. Um, stay tuned for like tomorrow. We're going to be, I'm going to be uploading the Citibank back cards. Um, so just stay tuned for that. That'll be tomorrow. And then uh, Wednesday, I'll be doing the Community Bank and Wells Fargo back trade lines. Um, let's see here. Uh, Fronty, no, no. Uh, I have a virtual presentation for ClearCard. How does that work? So ClearCard works like a corporate card, like American Express, but depending on some several factors, if they approve you, they're either going to approve you for uh, net seven days, net 14, or net 30 terms. Typically, they're going to start you off with net 14. So if they give you, say, 2,000 or 5,000 credit line, then you have that to use. And say so they give you a net 14 days, so they will draw whatever you used in that 14 day period of time. Or I don't say that period of time, whatever you used on say today, it'll be taken out 14 days from um, the charge. So something that you use three days from now, that'll be a separate charge that will come out uh, 14 days later. So it's, it's on a rolling basis. 
it'll be uh, multiple charges that they take out of your business bank account. So it's basically just gives you 14 days. Once you build up that relationship with clear bank or clear card, um, you may be able to get that onto uh, net 30 days like I have. So um, I know I've sent a lot of business their way, probably over two to 300 applications already, presentations already went. So just to make sure you, um, you'll meet the CEO on the presentation. So make sure you follow up with that. He will be able to explain a lot better than I can, but um, you know, they gave me 10,000. Um, I'm not really using it too much. I got it for, you know, more so to show you guys what you guys could get. It's just one other option, you know, to help you guys. Divi says my application's in review. Vanessa, did you apply through my strategic link, my strategic uh, partners link? If you applied through my link, um, you already sent me an email. I can follow up and check that right away because my login portal will actually show anybody applied through my strategic partner link and it will actually show me what the holdup is and what the issue is. Um, if you didn't apply through my link, also I can get your um, application attached to my account and then I can um, find out what's going on directly with Debbie. I talked to Debbie, my rep, which is the founder's wife, co-founder's wife. I talked to her, you know, multiple times per week. She, you know, and she she takes care of everybody, tries her best to get everybody approved because they, they don't make money as the underwriter, but they don't, Debbie doesn't make money unless they get you approved, you know. All right, you guys have any other questions at all? I think we're gonna close up on uh, this live stream. I'll probably do another live stream on Wednesday, Wednesday or Thursday. But um, but yeah, I will um, stay tuned for tomorrow. I got one or two videos coming out tomorrow and also on Wednesday. Pretty much every day this week, you guys can expect a. Um, new video released at least one video released every day possibly two so make sure that you hit that subscribe button and turn the bell notification on and you guys that are still tuning in please hit that thumbs up but i really appreciate it um smash that thumbs up on this live stream and if you didn't watch that video that i put out just earlier today about the synchrony trade lines go back and watch that video um it can fill you in on the synchrony backed ones. Um, Vanessa, no problem on that. As long as you already emailed me, um, I'll follow up with you about the hybrid credit and that. And then um, within that email, I'll talk to you about the Divi and I'll get, um, I can get your application attached tomorrow to my, uh, to my network and I can find out what's going on with uh, your account. I don't know how long it's been in review for, but um, typically from start to finish, if you go through say my link or it's through my rep, start to finish as long as you have everything in order, you can get approved in anywhere from 48 to 72 hours. Worst case scenario, four to five days. So if it's been longer than that, then I'll get it sorted out for you. Uh, Atlas, I will follow up with you. I got your email. I'll follow up with you. All right, you guys. Uh, any final questions? I'll wait about one minute. If not, then uh, we will talk soon. And stay tuned. And again, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. We're trying to get to 5,000 subscribers by um, uh, by April 1st. I know that's a lot to ask, but that's what we're working on shooting for. So... And if you guys are just, any of you guys just tuning in, just uh, watch the replay. If you want, watch the replay because um, you might find some of this information that we talked about this evening helpful. All right.
Oh, okay. All right. Anyways, no, no worries. We will sort that out. I'll get the your application attached to my account. No worries, Vanessa. Um, anyways, like I said, you guys stay tuned. Subscribe, turn the bell notification on, smash that thumbs up. Tomorrow, every day this week, I will be releasing new videos. Gems you don't want to miss. Oh wow, right when we're ending here. Desmond Rowe, super chat. Thank you so much for that, Desmond. Really appreciate that. Uh, you were kind of silent throughout the video, live chat. Um, Desmond just got a 12K approval with Divi. Uh, my guy's the real deal. Yep, I do my best to get everybody approved and everything for everything you can possibly do. Um, so thank you for that, uh, Desmond. Really appreciate that, like I said. Um, and everybody else that gave a super chat, I appreciate all you guys as well. And anybody that also didn't do a super chat, you know, I still appreciate all you guys. You're all part of the Get Business Credit family. And we have a lot to cover over the next uh, week that you definitely don't want to miss out on. And I got a couple of new gems that you guys don't even know about. Nobody's talking about. It's a business credit card that does not report to the personal side, even though it does check the your it does a soft pull on your personal credit, but you can get up to thirty thousand dollar revolving business credit card. So just stay tuned on that, you guys. I just don't want to say the name yet until I actually can show you my approval. But nobody's talking about it. There's not one video on it. So let's see here. Uh, yeah, congrats, man. Congrats. Yep, everybody's getting approvals. Like you guys just, uh, a lot of you guys on the outside not seeing what all the comments are on all my videos. Pretty much, you know, 60 to 70% of people that watch my videos comment and they get approved. Just follow my advice. I don't know any other YouTube channel where the stats are like that. You know, I'm not selling you guys anything. I'll get you guys approved. Just, you know, take the time to listen to my advice, even though I may be boring sometimes. It pays off. Trust me. But then, yeah, uh, Cockbrand, you are the best. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you again. Appreciate it so much. Um, that's what I'm here for, to get you guys approved. Um, that's why I said any of you guys got denied for anything, shoot me an email, support at joshvanhorn.com. Tell me what you got denied for, and I'll do my best to tell you what you need to do to address that to get approved for, rather it be Brex, Divi, um, any of these business credit cards and stuff. You know, I'll do my best to tell you what you're lacking because I pretty much know 99% of all the data points on why you could be getting denied and what you could do to increase your chances for approval and a higher limit. Um, and Desmond, you use that trade line, uh, or I mean the Divi account um, actively. And if you, I don't know if you're set up on uh, weekly, biweekly, or monthly terms, but regardless, switch over to the monthly terms after you, if you're on biweekly right now, switch over to monthly payment terms um, after you use it for two weeks. After you get the card, use it for two weeks, pay it back, then switch to monthly. If you're already on monthly, great. You know, use that for one or two months and then request for a limit increase. I guarantee you should be able to get 30 to anywhere from 25 to 30,000 credit limit increase. Mr. Drew, congrats on everyone getting approved. All right, you guys. Um, yeah, congrats to everybody getting approved. And we'll get you guys more approvals. Just stay tuned for upcoming videos. Like I said, subscribe. And um, if you're not already, like I said, I know it's annoying hearing me keep on saying subscribe. Um, and smash that thumbs up like button. Stay tuned until the next video, but just shoot me an email, support at joshvanhorn.com. If you guys have any questions, I'm here to help you guys out. You know, you guys have, you know, a great evening. And of course, one of our loyal subscribers just 
chiming in gorilla mcgyver josh what's good so much we're just ending the live stream uh gorilla uh watch the replay but uh this is a good one that kind of covers a lot of different topics but in particular about vendors that don't report how you can utilize those vendors so definitely watch it and um we'll catch up soon gorilla and like i said you guys i'll be trying to do another live cast on wednesday or thursday I'm trying to do like three live streams a week to get everybody a chance to get caught up and any questions you may have okay all right until next time you guys take care thank you again for everybody um all the support i really appreciate the loyal support you guys give me and thank you for all the super chats it'll go to good use to help other business owners all right you guys take care. Love you all. Thank you. Have a great evening. Bye-bye. Ah, uh, you you just giving a super chat, Gorilla McGyver. I know you're going to do that. I just had a gut feeling you're going to do that. Thank you so much, Gorilla. Uh, I'll be in touch with you. All right. Talk to you soon. You guys, thank you again. Appreciate all the support. Love you guys.